Hello, my friends. Today, it's time for Christmas Centerpiece Inspiration, hosted by Crafty Hints by Chantel, Kiki's DIY, and OK at Home DIY. Links to the host and playlist in the description box. Starting out, I have a plastic sleigh bucket from Dollar Tree. I gather up about six tumbling tower blocks to see if these will be long enough to use as the base of the sleigh. And then I grab another six and to see how it's going to look with the two of them on the bottom. And I have Gorilla Wood Glue to adhere them with and Jet Black Apple Barrel Paint. And for the front, I have some bits of old craft stick. All right, the paint is dry on everything and I think about here will be enough of a little kick up for the sleigh. So just measure this out. And then I'll add a bit of Gorilla Wood Glue. I am getting at the bottom of my container here. All three of our hosts are so talented and such sweethearts. Please go check out their channels for some fantastic inspiration for crafting. Okay, so I'm going to use these two foam discs to make a lollipops. One of them I'm going to paint with a lavender sachet from Apple Barrel. I am a Plaid Ambassador. So the paints I use are Plaid products. Okay, and while the lavender paint dries, I'm going to use this red tube mesh to make a red swirly pop. Alright, so both sides of my pop are done for this edge. I just have some red glitter ribbon to attach. Okay, so I'm gonna leave a spot open here so I can insert my straw, which will be my stick. Okay, the paint is all dry on both sides. So I have some pink Chanel yarn that I want to use as the swirl in this pop to just go around.
Okay, so I have this four pack of floral foam balls. These will become my cake pops and I'm gonna use these various colors of apple barrel paint and a bit of 3D paint to coat them and some um, little like glittery sprinkles. Then I sprinkle iridescent glitter I found at Dollar General onto the wet 3D paint. For my faux sprinkles, I have glass beads from the Crafter Square area of Dollar Tree. For this pop, the sequins and the ornament filler that I use as sprinkles are all from the Crafter Square area of Dollar Tree. Okay, so for the runners, I went ahead and took two tumbling tower blocks and added them to each so that the sleigh will sit up and not just be flat down on the runner part. So I'm gonna go ahead and add these to my sled. I'm gonna add some Gorilla Clear Grip Glue. With my sticks added, I want to add a few little ribbons that I made off camera to the base of the lollipop. And for these smaller pops, I'm using bamboo skewers as the sticks. And then again, I have some small little ribbons that I made off camera and I'll just add one to the bottom of each of the pops. And to further add a Candyland effect to the centerpiece, I have a pack of gingerbread men I found at Hobby Lobby. They have an adhesive back, so I don't need to add any hot glue, and it was really, really tacky. So I just went ahead and applied those directly to the bamboo skewer. And then I had a few pieces of faux peppermint left over from another project, so I just go ahead and I add those in between all of my gingerbread men and apply a small ribbon to to the top of the skewer. On 
this side it has Merry Christmas, but this side is blank. So I found these window decorations with a Candyland theme. So I think maybe I'll add um, the Noel and the uh, Nutcracker on the side and maybe the gingerbread in the front. Now it's time to put everything together and really make this centerpiece. So I add some hot glue to a piece of foam and add it to the bottom of my sleigh. And I have a, a garland from Dollar Tree and I stuff my sleigh with that so I have a nice filling. And then I start to add all of my little sweet pieces into my sled my sleigh um i do go ahead and make a bow out of this pretty peppermint striped ribbon that i found at hobby lobby so that i'll have a nice bow to add to the top of my centerpiece and a few um chenille stems that i just wrap around my finger to make little curly cues just to add as accents as well and now i start to assemble everything and see how i want to have it set up inside of the sleigh And here is my finished Candyland sleigh centerpiece. I absolutely adore this. This is so cute. This will look so good on our dining table as our Christmas centerpiece. This fits right in with our Christmas Candyland theme for this year. And I just, I couldn't be any happier with it. And I'm so happy that I actually made it myself and didn't go out and buy something prepackaged and spend a ton of money. I absolutely love how everything came out. The little pops, the swirly pops, my little steak with the gingerbread men and the peppermints, the faux candy canes. Everything looks so cute. The ribbon is so pretty. I just, I love it all. Please let me know what do you think of my Candyland theme centerpiece. There's a wonderful playlist. I'll have the link in the description box. Please enjoy. I hope you enjoyed watching my video today and I hope you have a very Merry Christmas.